for the one time we saw him do so. So plus all the pressure on him in that moment, right? He just said, okay, I'm, I'm, I need to hit something here. And Jen capitalized. Yeah. The greatest strength can be the greatest weakness sometimes. And both Jen and Palutena have been prying on weaknesses like that for a very good long while. And I like that run up jab there as we get to see the run back from a winner semi set, Peko and Jen. Uh, Peko recent, uh, previously getting the 2 0. See if he can recreate the magic or if Loser's Gen is going to be a difference maker. Yeah, it's been really nice seeing all these runbacks here on Loser's side. Right. A lot of players getting to show off their adjustments, show off the players, but the banana from Palu, who gonna find it. Potassium really is a killer, you know? Yeah, do and you eat your bananas with or without the peel? Do I eat the peel? Yeah. No, I don't eat the peel. No. Do we eat the peel? <laughs> No. <laughs> but, I mean, Diddy's certainly making a uh, force-feeding Jen that peel right now, like seeing, just throwing it at his face over and over again, trying to find these follow-ups, and you mix in these monkey flips in order to create that established center stage neutral. And, almost, and even still, like, Peko's very willing to chase and trying to throw off Jen as much as possible. Yeah, right now, though, oh, it's been Peko getting kind of caught in this blender just a little bit. It, Jen, Jen trying to show Oh Diddy that healthy eating can come in the form of a smoothie too, and just not able to find any Ooh. sort of maintain advantage state. And that was, that was a DI. That hey. was a DI. Sus suspect DI, but a very smooth landing on the part of Jen, able to use the teleport cancel into the banana toss to catch Peko sleeping just that little bit, thinking you're safe, but not quite. And at 95. Diddy's not really all that known for early stocks reliably. Like, Banana Ford Smash certainly would do it. so smart. And it worked. Calling <laughs> out the shield drop timing. Something that players in Ultimate don't do enough. Like, because of parry in general, but also just players in Ultimate having such good out-of-shield options, right? A lot of them, regardless of skill level, have pretty similar out-of-shield, like, shield drop timings. Okay. And so you can just delay an F-Smack or something, especially with multiple hits, just like Peko did. And and really just like call someone out for trying to push a button. Yeah, try and go for a parry. You gotta be careful with that. Love the empty hop there, going for it all. Unable to find the stock off of that down throw, but at the very least you're finding damage, you're finding you're finding your groove back, and it's, it has come to the tune of 75%. I love how Peko and you get to establish this game plan. Diddy with Banana on the ground, potential to pull up shield at the drop of a hat, frame one option. But, but we've seen a little bit more panic here from Paco, right? The nerves of making all the way to winners finals from earlier maybe getting to him because he's not playing with the confidence he did in winners. We saw panic options, both stocks kind of of kind of come back to bite him, and now still trying to close it back against Jen, not able to find that banana and gonna get juggled for a whole fifty for it. Oh, that auto reticle, amazing stall in order to avoid the homing shot, which would have uh, spelled demise for Peko in this game number one. We're seeing Jen trying to orchestrate that same sort of song right now with the this backwards facing stance. Like, I'm just gonna wait for you to fall into one of these back airs. Peko with the cheeky roll in to establish center stage, getting that stock and potentially getting some groove back. Yeah, and that was a very nice confirm from Peko. Oh, the back air or safe on parry just because of the spacing. Very smart stuff from both players. Was, and Peko gonna just use Monkey Flip, try and find his way back to stage, looking for any opening, but that over aggression gonna cost him. And, and getting put off, Jen with the checkmate, just explosive flame covering so much space. And Peko's gotta do this one from behind this time. Yeah, that was a good uh, a good position from Jen to, to excuse me to play into, right? Because you get the downer and a shield, and what Peko had been doing a lot uh, throughout just the entirety of the game is just like, hey, I'm gonna pepper in these backers, I'm peppering these A landings to try and keep Palutan off me and reestablish neutral, uh, prevent some of the sort of these chases unless it's with a dash attack exclusively. Uh, Jen called that out as the hardest as you can with a kit with a move that is just so. Beautifully placed in Palutena's kit. Explosive Flame does exactly what it needs to. And I love that barrel mix up, like going high early from Peko, allowing him to get out. past the ledge trap, but the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like just allowing right, him to get out, out back to stage, not gonna get gimped early, and just continue this relentless pressure on Peko. Oh, it looked like he had that opening early with a flip kick, but wasn't able to find it. That great match allowing Jen to just maintain this advantage and just rack on so much. 
Peppering in plenty of these back airs, calling out a jump, but a high, to, uh, high recovery to ledge. Going to avoid as many two frames as possible. Uh, I mean, Diddy has no shortage of options to two frame, as we saw in that winner's set. But zero have come through here in uh, here in the losers uh, in losers finals. Back and forth it goes, re-establishing the ledge play yet again, and wow, Peko able to get away with murder in that high recovery. But it does not amount for advantage for him until this very moment. And Both of these players, man. His recovery roots were so smart, Ubel, there. Unfortunately, not able to make that magic last forever, right? Just getting caught by the Palo back air, air. But the fact that he was able to live that long, right? Bring this as, as close as it is right now. If Peko can close this out, he is very much still in this one. And he has every opportunity with Banana in hand. Now it's gone, though, so that window might start to close. I've been loving how Jen has just introduced Jab as this grounded option that is, it's enough, right? Palutena doesn't have the best grounded buttons. In fact, all of her tilts are mediocre at best. But where they're good, they're very, very good, but they're not just, they're not really all that good in a long grounded space like this where Diddy loves to operate. Jab is just big enough to establish control, to put Peko on the back foot, to be quick enough to challenge approaching Diddy and turn it into advantage. And Peko calling out that out that attempt at Banana again with the back air, gonna close it out. But in turn, his as good as his routes have been, he's kind of started patterning the same ones and Jen's called out the repeats, right? That's the third time we've seen that barrel. The second one was a spike. Like, so looking now, he's gonna finally mix in another one. Gonna have Banana here to boot but he just needs to find his way back out, back, take an, a solid advantage state, get some corner pressure on Jen, and this jab is catching him over and over. It's it's been just what it's been just what Jen needs and suspect the eye as Jen continues to snowball, going for it all there, but Peko almost finding a cheeky reversal with that back air. Have to be careful with just how dangerous you want to play, Jen, but this game in a very, very dire straits for Peko. Has to make uh, more than a couple Hail Marys in order to make this back, and I don't think Touchdown Tom's coming to save him anytime soon. No, sir, he's not. Not in New England, not up north anymore. Down, he, stuck down in Tampa, and the banana gonna try and find it. It's only, you know, the closest thing you're gonna get to that tropical climate, but Palo having none of it. Jen again getting packed with the ledge, but a get up attack gonna allow him to get out, and the peanut gun up smash? That was pretty clean. That was pretty clean. <laughs> I'm, I definitely appreciate that. Jen starting to slow the game down a little uh, enough, but decides to fall back onto that uh, just run forward, standing grab mix up, ends up eating the entire world for it. And now yeah. Peko gets to roll a little bit, but didn't read the DI in. And the back air as well being invulnerable, right? Just kind of putting to rest any attempt to for Peko to contest that. That being said, he, he you know he found the peanut gun up smash into the banana up smash really cooked with you know with all the ingredients available to him right there. Crazy how that was such a like, and that's a long-standing mix-up, right? Like I'm at you're at high percent where rage isn't going to uh, is going to affect your combos, but I'm in a position where this usually guarantees a follow-up if you read the DI right. Peko just not ready to read DI. Amazing awareness from Jen in the very last moments and able to turn a steamrolling Peko. A Peko starting to get some groove going, stopping that in his and tracks. And one of the things that Jen did really, really well in that set was his patience in shield, right? Peko would run up and try and find these up smash mix-ups or try and find shield pressure. In